Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and um, I will actually share um, the workaround for those that are a little more advanced and don't mind playing around a little bit with registry. Um, there is, of course, a guidance for this um, security flaw for the Microsoft Support Diagnostic Tool vulner vulnerability within Windows. Uh, there's a way to mitigate the uh, problem by actually kind of removing that uh, the execution or the workaround, disabling the MSDT uh, URL protocol. So like I was saying in a previous video, um, if you're using Office or it seems that proof of concept show that maybe, um, you know, a phishing attempt through email or possibly some weird link it's not clear all the ways that this can be exploited like i said if you're careful there's no real danger of being exploited but still it adds a security uh, hazard um, and if you're not sure and if you want to play it safe uh, microsoft has a blog post about it, uh, guidance for the um, Microsoft Support Diagnostic Tool vulnerability. In this page that I will share with you guys, if you want to do it, well, you have the procedure to disable the MSDT URL protocol, which I will not do personally. Um, I don't see why we should go to this trouble if you are careful what you do with your computer. But if you are not sure and if you want to really play it as safe as possible, run the command prompt and just um, do the um, execute the commands that you see here. What this does, first of all, it actually will export this registry key to um, a, um, it's saved as a file name. It will be called file name. Once that is done, it will, you will actually execute the command to delete the key afterwards. Once that is done, um, you should, you know, stay safe. But if you do require to have the Microsoft support diagnostic tool to work, um, once the fix is done, you have a workaround to undo what you just did. So, you know, I don't think uh, people should worry and really do this, honestly. But if you want to play it safe, you can do it. Like I said, I won't be doing it on any of my machines. Um, I don't see the, the need. Uh, you know, being careful is is enough, I think, to uh, until they fix it with a patch Tuesday fix that will probably come this month. Uh, but play it safe. Just uh, go here. Uh, the link to this page is in the description below. Just uh, do these commands to um, back up the registry key, then delete it. And if you wish to have it back, then you have the workaround to actually import it back into the registry. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.